Focused on Bruno Fernandes. Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one two balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester United up against Newcastle United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And still looking to get the shot off. He's protecting it effectively. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supporting the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's a fantastic striker of the ball. He can generate so much pace. And when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to dip and swerve on its way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. The Magpies pushing forward with options available. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Bruno Fernandes has it. Harry Maguire now. Scott McTominay. Trying to open them up. Well, it nearly worked out. And a fine interception. And it's with Hall. Well, fine use of the ball. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. An example of how to press. Rafael Varan. And playing it to the goalkeeper. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Lindelof and Rashford. Rafael Varane. Scott McTominay. Diogo Dallo on the ball. It's with McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. Committed challenge. Murphy. Bruno Guimaraes. And he has options available. Able to close down the shot. The Magpie is doing well to win it back. And it's with Isaac, and there it is, 1-0, their efforts have been rewarded, and look at the celebrations. Well, just watch this again, a change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish, that's a very good goal. 
Well, he's not happy, of course, but Ten Hag needs to make some big calls here, get his side back into the game. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And so the first half story has been written. Half time here at Old Trafford. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal. But I thought his overall. So the ball is rolling again. United might be behind, but still plenty of time for them. What can they do in the second 45? And strong play here. McTominay. Well, trailing, but this looks promising. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Now, the counter-attack looks on. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. Happy to shoot. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Here it is now, a substitution. He's driven in the corner. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Oh, great defending. Kraft. Guimaraes. Dan Byrne. Passing it accurately. Marcus Rashford. Given away by Manchester United. Gordon the Magpies looking creative and it's with Isaac chance for Isaac can they convert oh he's found the net and that increases the advantage to two just what they wanted and just what they deserve well here you can see it again Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. Ten Hag's team just haven't been good enough today. It's been a poor performance. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. And he loves drifting in off the flank. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Long staff. Can he convert? A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. 
Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. And the action underway once more with the Magpies very much on top. Diogo Dallo. Ten minutes to go then. Rashford. Rashford. Might be a chance to break. Brilliant pass. He's in here. And just like that, the break has stopped. Really top quality defending. Plenty of support here. Dallo. Now with Rashford. Diogo Dallo on the ball. A good and fair challenge. And there's the final whistle. The grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game. Well, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.